Well, hello there. I'm Everett Johnston, and I'm going to be talking about plumbing. Okay, it's the beginning of a new year, and so it's up to you guys to take a look at this book, Commercial Plumbing Maintenance. Okay, this book is a soft copy. This is the hard copy. Amazon.com. I think it's 19 bucks, and it's $30. So, why am I talking about this book? because it is the beginning of a new year. And if you've been doing construction and you've been doing uh, putty wagon and things like that, well, maybe you're gonna think about doing some kind of maintenance. Now, the last job, big job I did was at the Bellagio. I worked there two years. Maintenance there, uh, there's lots of pipe, but there's also, when you do hospitals, like uh, I did the VA hospital, I retired from there 20 something years. And I did new work on, um, in the Union for uh, all the hospitals in Denver. Children, St. Joe's, Lutheran, uh, St. Anthony's, uh, man, you name it, I, I worked on them. Doing some type of work, remodeling their ER, remodeling their intensive care, remodeling uh, operating rooms, uh, all kinds of work. Now, when you gather all that work together and all those years of experience, that's fine. But there's so many other things you need to know about being a good maintenance plumber. Now, the thing about, you know, being a good maintenance plumber is that uh, this book helps you out along the way. It talks about uh, things and procedures you should do. It talks about uh, um, freezing lines. It talks about you know, dielectric unions, it talks about, I've give you uh, estimating, estimating things that you might need if you're going to be doing a little contract. If you're telling, you know, your supervisor role and somebody comes in with the bid, you get an idea of what the bid should be. Um, odors, bad odors, plug drains, uh, mineral deposits, how to resolve them, how to take care of them. I'm just looking real quick through a lot of them use of uh, chemicals and why you don't use certain chemicals in any sewer line. I've got a whole chapter in that. Uh, you know, in the hospital, you don't use chemicals because people are sick. And when they things happen in the line, anyway, I talk about it in the book. So I'm hoping you're gonna buy my book. I'm hoping you semi learn from this, uh, this video and uh, you'll realize that uh, it is a unique job and there's many things that you need to know that's different than you would doing new construction. Because you're not building anything new. You're not in a putty wagon driving around fixing toilets and little things like that. You're doing some serious big stuff. Sewage ejectors. You're pumping up 20, 30 feet. These sewage ejectors are humongous. You know, the bigger high rise you work on, the, the more. You've got booster pumps, you've got medical things, you've got oxygen, vacuum. I talk about it in here, nitrous oxygen, nitrous, nitrous oxygen, everything. It's all in the book. There's ideas. Now, I wrote the book. My son did the graphics, and it's a self-written book. And if you learn one thing, it's worth the 20 bucks. I mean, a, a, what, a pack of cigarettes, 10 bucks? So two packs of cigarettes going to buy you this book? Wouldn't you rather invest in the book than you would two packs of cigarettes if you smoke? So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm promoting the book. I think it's a great book. I don't have television and all that to promote it, so uh, this is how I do it. So take care. Take a look. Thank you. Bye.